I guess it comes down to is I'm trying to figure out if it's a blessing or a curse. And honestly, that's up for debate, and there's no right answer to that. And everyone, oh, you're confused. I'm confused too, I'm, I'm still trying to mull over in my head. I'm trying to grasp and just understand what's going on with me. My perception. This is, this is the topic right now, the, my perception. Um, my extrasensory perception. And I really don't care, um, who believes me or not. It doesn't really matter who believes me or not, because I've seen the things from the past. I've I actually started keeping a journal of my predictions, my uh, visions that I have, because I've seen too many of them come true. I've, where I've been, I've, I see things like, it's almost like an out-of-body experience, and sometimes it's almost like remote viewing. Um, but it always ends up, uh, for the most part, now I'm aware that some of the things I see isn't in this reality, and it's funny how I can pick those apart, like I, I, I can see so many timelines and paths, and I know which one I'm on, I know which ones I we don't want to be on. Um, I can, I see yours, I do, I see yours around people. Um, I have a high intuition about people. Uh, I'm in past, I feel other people pain and can uh, if someone gets injured or something and has a gas, I, I feel that gas, you know? Um, I often know what people are thinking before they say anything. And I've, I don't know, maybe it has to do with me paying attention my whole life. And I've really, really focusing on stuff here that's in the last three years. And how, especially after the incident on Halloween, um, and before that things were changing, but that was, I think, one of the definitive moments that just flipped my whole world upside down. It's, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. I have. I've been meaning to ask, not really, not really ask for input, but just to put it out there, and, I don't know, don't know really what to expect, uh, I honestly really don't care, to tell you the truth, but this has to do with a recent event, um, I will formally apologize for my quietness on the subject um, to you. I just, it may have seemed like I didn't care or I wasn't affected. I was trying to absorb what was being said. Because there was a day and it was the day. Um, I had a buddy, he just, let's just say, uh, he didn't hear from him for a little bit, um, which is kind of unusual and stuff for a morning time. And, uh, 
any other day that this would have happened, it's, it's no, no thoughts, no vision, no nothing. This specific day, I had this feeling that something was wrong. And it had to do with a doctor, and it had to do with something about a surgery, and it had to do, and it was, it was, it was just some harsh news. I felt it. I felt it in, in the, this area that it's not in this third dimensional world, it's this world that I really live in that things emanate from and you can feel on a global scale. Um, but, I had that odd feeling that, that, some, that something was up and I didn't get confirmation. Like I said, I get things like this all the time, you know, visions of stuff and imagery, and, and sometimes it's just a little itty bitty thing. Sometimes it could be just, you know, knowing someone was gonna say something that irritates me, or, 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 or just something as far as like I'm like missing a bus. Like I, I know like three, four hours in advance if a bus, if I'm gonna, you know, miss a bus or something. You know, it's, it's not all the time, it's just you know, from time to time. Uh, but here lately, it's been getting to be, you know, more and more invasive in my life. But yeah, I had, I just, I had this feeling. I wasn't sure what it was, but I was just going on, and I just. It's just an emotion that comes over you. It's like, it's just like an ultimate just knowing. Like, I can, I can pick apart whether something's a guess or whether something's just like a worry or, or something that's coming internally, you know, something emotionally internally. You know, something that I'm creating and not that's actually happening. You know what I mean? So, I, I know the difference. I mean, I've been, like I said, I've been having to deal with this a, a, a while, and, I mean, it's funny because I don't, I don't really realize just how much I have been dealing with it, and I'm, I'm starting to remember things from my childhood, and, uh, visions I've had, I had back then, like, just things I thought were just dreams or daydreams, and, and seeing them come real today. You know, not today, today, but, you know, in my present time, within the last, well, 35 years. Um, I don't know, I, it's hard to wrap my, my mind around. the realness of it all sometimes, you know, because it's one thing, you know, people are like, oh, I don't believe, or, you know, just like a little feeling here and there that you really can't play, so you kind of just pushed off. That's kind of how it started, until it started becoming more and more and more visual, and to the point that sometimes it will completely blast out what my eyes see as reality. Or what you would call reality, or what people consider this reality. Quote, quote, yeah. But this, what I'm saying is like, like how you're seeing the screen in your computer or your phone or however you're watching this, the things you're seeing with your eyes. Sometimes that's how I see my visions, like, for a brief moment, I'm not here anymore, I'm there, I'm in another time, another place, and see it through my own eyes, and then, when that moment happens, again, later on in life, it loops, it loops and creates a deja vu for me, and sometimes my deja vu, it's not like, oh, oh, that's the deja vu, no, my deja vu is I'm sitting there, and sitting there watching, and still watching, 
And sometimes my deja vu, my that feeling of deja vu, can last for hours. Um, ooh, a seed. What's well, lucky? Lucky seed on my birthday. And I'll plant this and grow something good. Glad I didn't spark that up just yet. And pick that out of there. It's a nice little one too. And this is the uh uh redheaded stranger. So let's put this over here and we'll maybe get a little starting for it for the spring. Might as well. I mean I can legally have up to what four to five plants or something like that, so Sure, why not? Especially since I sell them things. You got five or six seeds for like 30, 40 bucks. It's a fucking dispensary. And the reason I'm excited about it is if you don't see seeds in shit out here. Really, you don't. It's very rare. Yeah, these days, and there's others. I have both good and bad predictions, um, visions and such. Uh, I just, honestly, I'm starting to write them down. Checking, and I'm writing them in code, so, because honestly, as much as every is, everything's coming to pass, I imagine if I did write down all my predictions, you know, it could be used to. I don't know. I don't know how it could be used, but I don't think it would be very safe. So I'm writing everything in code. And as something comes to pass, I check it off. I like, yep, I'm right about that. Yep, yep, yep. I'm writing down what my vision was, prediction, the date that I predicted it. Um, well, I guess it's not really a prediction unless it actually happens. Um, and, but like I said, which I've been finding all of them have, um, to a, a majority. I mean, there's, there's, and there's, like I said, there's some that I, I, I know are, they're not here. They're not in this reality. There's not the one I'm in right now. Um, I've also learned, or been learning how to see, uh, the dimensional shifts. I found out how to do that by, um, I had my, uh, uh, cut through equipment sterilizer, I had a bunch of glass seeds and stuff in it, um, which they've been going all over the place. Uh, so I was sitting there looking for some, so I had to fill them out, um, in the carpet. And you can't really see them, you know, being clearly as I see, especially in this carpet that's like so weird in color and like just random. Goofy. The only way I was able to, to see, I had to kind of see where the, where the, the glimmer and shit was. With, you know, something invisible. Because the light sometimes glimmer off of, you know, things. That's how this third dimensional works. You know, there's a light source and gives you third dimensions, whatever. Anyway, yeah, um, Dimensional shifts and uh, vortexes and stuff work about the same way, I found out. Uh, there is a slight shimmer that comes off of them, kind of like how I can see auras. Um, they kind of have or know, or their own aura on themselves, and almost like a... I can't remember what animal does that. Almost like really, not like a, almost like a snake, kind of. How they kind of go back and forth and kind of triangulate. Um, it's the same principle, and, uh, it's kind of like a, it's almost kind of like a blind person sees, by sound, you know how they, how they, they click their cane back and forth, and then they, they can know where they're going by the triangulation sound, 
it's the same thing as uh, for dimensional vortexes and stuff like that. Um, they're flat. They're pretty freaking flat within a, uh, an area. I mean, they're not. They're the they're because they don't work. They don't work like like even this dimension's flat, completely flat. Uh, third dimensionally speaking, if you're looking at it outside, it would look, it would appear flat. Um, they all are. Uh, that's why. But I noticed. I've noticed moving through. Um, you feel like a part of you gets left behind until it catches up. Like, I don't know. I wish I could visually, visually show this to you what I'm talking about. Like, in some kind of graphic or something. And I'll work on it. Um, that's really not the point of the video, though, at all. Um, I mean, I guess it has something to do with my whole perception, which is the point of the video. But, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. And I know I shouldn't be getting copyrighted on any of this video. This is all copyright for music, and if I do, I'm definitely, definitely gonna fight it this time. Uh, this video's already probably been too long as it is. But that's. Oh, I really wanted to say.